Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. It's your boy Phil. So today, I'll be returning to Geisha Asian Fusion to try out their sushi a la carte menu. So, what are we waiting for? Let's start the video. What's up everyone? Hope you're having a great day. So today, we are back at Geisha Asian Fusion where we are going to try 11 or 12 specific types of sushi that I chose a la carte. So uh, they have set menus for the uh, sashimi platter and the chef's sushi platter, but I decided to choose from their a la carte menu. These are specific types of sushi that include some shellfish and some different types of fish that you can't see on their chef sushi platter or their sashimi platter. And these are the sushi that you will witness in the video. Oh, <laughs> that looks great. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy. Whoa. So I chose 11 particular types of sushi. So just to name these pieces from the video, we're gonna start from the top to the right. So that's gonna be squid, king salmon, red clam, jumbo shrimp, sea bream, scallop, and to the bottom, salmon, shrimp, octopus, sea urchin or uni, and lastly, fatty tuna. So, what are we waiting for? Let's eat! I chose the sushi randomly, so the first one that we are gonna taste is the cooked shrimp. The shrimp tasted fresh, but what I remember is it really tasted very sweet and not too chewy as well. They just cooked it at the right temperature, probably they poached it, that's why it's still very soft to chew. Next up is squid sushi. This sushi tasted very fresh and is very soft with just the right amount of chewiness. As you chew on the sushi, you will taste the combination of umami and sweetness of the squid. The yuzu pepper on top adds the contrast and sour flavor that contrasted the umami and the sweetness as well. Next is sea bream, slightly charred with yuzu pepper on top. The charring process activates the oils and the flavors in the meat and the fat. So as you chew along the sushi, you can taste that flavor of the oils and the creaminess of the meat. The yuzu pepper on top balances out the creaminess and richness of the fish. Next, octopus. Massaged and tenderized for about 6 to 8 hours. And like the squid, it just has the right amount of chewiness. In terms of flavor though, the squid has more of that squid flavor. But still, this is tasty and just has the right amount of chewiness. And this was a real treat. In Asian cuisine, the tamale from the shrimp head is considered a delicacy. Rightfully so, because it contains that fatty, rich tamale taste. The batter itself is light and crispy. And the tamale inside the shrimp head is just rich, fatty, full of flavor, and mostly umami. As you chew on the crispy head, all of the flavors just circulate in your mouth. Really, really delicious. Next is salmon, a really rich, fatty, and flavorful fish. The fatty, rich flavors and oils just melts in your mouth. Salmon flesh is a very rich and fatty fish. So king salmon belly multiplies that flavor, richness, and that fat 10 times and it also has 10 times the umami. This is as rich and fatty as the tuna belly, but of course with its own unique profile. 
I had to chew it for a couple of seconds to really appreciate the flavor, the fattiness, the creaminess, and the umami of that king salmon belly. The salmon roe on top added more saltiness and umami to the already tasty piece. And shout out again to Geisha Asian Fusion for this chopped tuna on the house. Now this one I like better compared to the cooked shrimp. The primary reason is this jumbo shrimp is sweeter. It's sweeter and packs up more umami. The fish roe on top added a new layer of texture to the soft shrimp. And I think I added too much wasabi on that piece. Next are scallops with a slightly charred surface. The flavor profile for this scallops are, they are soft and they are sweet. And that umami scallop flavor comes out as you chew on the sushi. This red clam is really tasty. And just like the squid, it is soft with just the right amount of chewiness. And for some reason, the flavor profile just like the other shellfish is very sweet. So it's a combination of primarily sweet and tasty. So I saved the two best pieces for last, sea urchin and fatty tuna. Sea urchin is a combination of sweet, tasty, and salty umami. It practically melts in your mouth. And as you chew on the sushi, those flavors of sweet, creamy, salty, umami flavor just melts in your mouth. Just like creamy, salty, flavorful butter. And of course, I saved the best piece for last, fatty tuna. Usually taken in the belly part and this sushi is heavy. It's basically tuna butter, much like the king salmon belly and it has a rich, creamy, fatty taste. It basically melts in your mouth and you have to really chew it in order to appreciate and circulate all the flavor of that tuna fat in your mouth. So for this night, my favorite pieces were the king salmon belly, the uni or sea urchin, and definitely the fatty tuna belly. And of course, shout out again to Geisha Asian Fusion for giving me this chopped tuna akami topped with fish roe and mango bits on the house. The tuna akami was soft and tasty. The fish roe on top added the umami flavor and the mango bits added a hint of sweetness. These ingredients combined with a soy vinegar sauce is a perfect entree in itself. Really, really delicious. And my last dish was some oysters. Oysters, of course, were 100% umami flavor. The fish roe on top added a new layer of texture because they have popping umami taste as you chew on them and the chives added some garnish to the dish. These oysters truly tasted like the sea. And comment down below if you can recognize this fruit. It's a green fruit that they served after the oysters. They tasted really sweet with a slight hint of lemon.
thank you for watching this video and i really do hope that you enjoy it and thank you for your continued support and as always like comment and subscribe see you later in the next video guys take care